Hello guys and welcome back. I wasn't really planning on making a new video, but after getting so many feedback and questions about my last FR Sky R9M testing videos, I thought it would have been a good idea to sum up all my failsafe troubleshooting ideas and experiences about the R9M system. So let's start with the firmware. Check frskyrc.com for a new firmware release. Make sure that you have installed the newest firmware for your local regulations. Always install the same firmware version on your R9 module and R9 receiver. If you want to use the Flex firmware, update your Tyrannus to OpenTX 2.2.3. Rebind your R9 receiver with your Tyrannus after flashing a new firmware. Now we get to the antennas. Upgrade your R9M module antenna with the FR Sky Super 8, the TBS Diamond or the True Mox antenna. I also recommend to upgrade the antenna on your R9 receiver with the FR Sky Dipole T or the TBS Immortal T. Now we go ahead to the antenna alignment. Make sure your antennas are orientated the same way on your R9M module and your receiver. Mount them both horizontal or vertical. I recommend the vertical alignment. At next we will talk about some hardware and technical stuff. The R9 receivers are very sensitive to voltage spikes. So I recommend to install a capacitor to your power lead. If you are using single ESCs, you can also add some smaller capacitors to each ESC. If you have a weak 5 volt regulator, you better power your R9 receiver from a separate 5 volt back. Avoid electromagnetic interferences, don't mount your receiver close to the ESCs or other components. Now we go to the beta flight settings. Raise the failsafe stage 2 delay to avoid failsafes caused by the RSSI dropouts. Then you also have to set the channel fallback settings for roll, pitch, jaw and throttle from auto to hold. In this scene you see that the RSSI comes back, unfortunately my quad was already in the failsafe mode. So it dropped out of the sky. With a longer failsafe delay you can avoid this scenario. Last but not least I will show you some basic troubleshooting steps. Safety first, take off the propellers from your quad. Switch on your Tyrannus and select the lowest output power and the range test mode as well. Place your Tyrannus apart from your receiver, then plug in the battery to power up your quad. Move the antenna, move the receiver, press on the receiver and the solder joints. Move the R9M in the module bay of your Tyrannus. While you are doing this, keep an eye on the RSSI value and the indicator LEDs. If the RSSI value drops or the red LED on your receiver is lighting up, you maybe have a faulty hardware or a connection issue. Then arm your quad and move the sticks and keep an eye on the RSSI value and your receiver again. If the receiver loses the signal, then you probably have a problem with your 5 volt regulator or electromagnetic interferences. So that's it. I hope this advice will help you to avoid failsafes with your FR Sky R9 system. If you are having additional advices or any questions, please write it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.